guys, welcome back to another inelastic collisions problem. An internal explosion breaks an object initially at rest into two pieces, one which has 1.5 times the mass of the other. If 7,400 joules of energy were released in the explosion, how much kinetic energy did each piece acquire? So the first thing we want to do is uh, do our before and after pictures, right, to have an idea of what's going on. So before, we have our object as as a single object. It's not moving, it's at rest. And afterward, we know that part of it breaks off in one direction and the rest of it breaks off in the other direction. So let's call one of these pieces MA, the other piece MB. Therefore, in the before scenario, we have MA plus MB together. Now, we're also told that one of the masses is 1.5 times the mass of the other. So therefore, because I've drawn MB as the larger piece, MB is 1.5 times MA, or if you'd like to write it as a fraction, 3 halves MA. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start this with a conservation of momentum approach. P1 equals P2. It, why? Because momentum is always conserved. So initially, my momentum is zero because nothing's moving. It's still. So P1 is zero. P2, we've got both of them moving, so it's going to be MA, VA, plus MB, VB. Now, I know that MB is 3 halves MA, right? So 3 halves MA. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. So 0 equals MAVA plus 3 halves MAVB. Now, because I have MA appearing in both terms, imagine factoring it out and then dividing both sides by MA. The MA would disappear on the right, and 0 divided by anything is 0. So essentially, the MAs disappear. Okay, so now you're left with 0 equals VA plus 3 halves VB. So bring the 3 halves VB to the left, making it negative. Negative 3 halves VB equals VA. I'm just going to go ahead and solve for VB. You can leave it as this if you'd like. VA is equal to negative 2 thirds uh, VB. Okay, so this is what I've got now. This will help me simplify my later expressions. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, a energy statement. Okay, I'm told that 7,400 joules of energy is released, and that becomes the kinetic energy of pieces A and B. So taking that logic and converting it into a mathematical statement, you get something like this. Okay, so energy released is EKA plus EKB. So now write down the expressions for kinetic energy, 1 half MA VA squared plus 1 half MB VB squared. Now again, mass of V is 3 halves mass of A. And we also can convert the, the VA into VB or the VB into VA. Oh, I think I actually mixed the two up here. So it should be, this should be a VB equals negative 2 thirds of VA. Okay, so VB is negative 2 thirds VA. So I've got a few different substitutions I can do here. Um, okay, so 1 half MA VA squared plus 1 half, and B is 3 halves MA, and then VB is negative 2 thirds VA. Now be careful because VB is being squared, so just make sure you remember to square it. So minus 2 thirds VA squared. So 1 half MA VA squared plus, um, let's see, if I square this, I'm going to get 4 ninths. So 1 half, 3 halves, 4 ninths. M A V A squared. I'm going to keep the half here, okay? Because I've got a 1 half M V A squared, and that's the expression for kinetic energy of A. So if I can get something like that here, maybe I can combine the two expressions together. So keep the half. Just work on simplifying these parts right now. Okay, so the 4 cancels out with the 2. You're left with the 2 there. The 3 cancels with the 9, leaving you with the 3 here. So you get 1 half M A V A squared plus one half, um, well, you know what, I'll bring the two thirds in front. Uh, so let's do it like this. Two thirds times one half MA VA squared. So the reason I did that is because you see you've got one half MA VA squared here, one half MA VA squared there. So assume it's X plus two thirds X, okay? So one plus two thirds uh, is five thirds. So pretty much you're getting five thirds one half MA VA squared. 
And what is this really? I mean, this is what I was trying to do in the beginning. This is the expression for kinetic energy of A. All right, and we know that that's equal to the energy released or 7,400 joules, 5 thirds EKA. So to get EKA by itself, all you do is take this 7,400, multiply by 3 fifths. So 3 fifths times 7,400 joules, and you're going to get that EKA is 4,400 joules. Okay, so that's how you do for EKA. EKB is even simpler. You know that the sum of EKA and EKB have to be 7,400. So EKB is just 7,400 minus 4,400, leaving you with 3,000 joules. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it made sense uh, or if it didn't, be sure to leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next video, video 127 to be posted tomorrow at 12 noon in Elastic Collisions 3. What? Wait, who's back to school? Pumpkin pie recipe. Okay, I'll save that for Halloween. Guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to Physics in the Flesh so you never miss a video from me, which by the way, I post every weekday at 12 noon. So be sure to be on my channel at that time. Guys, as always, if you missed my videos from the past, be sure to click over there on the right. You'll see some of my latest videos there. And other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.